Hello and welcome to you know, Let's Play Me, Game Move 6, Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, well, there's Horse. On the last Let's Play we did, what was it, Fatherhood and other thingies, Dreams 2? Where we uh, met with our waifu, or, you know, one, one would hope to be waifu, and then, uh, stuff. There we go. Bonding. We need to bond with our horse so we'll run faster. Also need to turn myself here up. Also buy new clothes since, you know, we got cash. Also, what was I going to say else? You know what's weird? I started this game. Yeah, apart from the course. Um, to, you know, get it loaded. See if it crashes, as it does almost every time. And check the graphics to see if you reset. Because it seems to be doing okay over there. Seems to be. Sometimes it doesn't. A lot of times it doesn't. Other times it does. I mean, it's not as smooth as this thing, but still the OBS seems to be a lot smoother than it has in previous times. But I started the game. Graphics didn't reset. Game didn't crash. I wonder if that has anything to do with the blue screen errors and um, G-Force experience, because I would... Okay. Okay. Oh, you kind, mister. So I'm gonna get my gun out just in case. Ooh, we got one of those uh, German ones. If he uh, be so kind to take me to Lagrange, that's where I'm from. That's where my people is from. Sure, that's fine. Don't normally trust no outside man. No offense, Mister. Just don't trust them much. Right, all right, ma'am. I don't trust them much either. You seem like a horse rider. Yeah, your whole life I bet. Horses don't help much in Lagrange. Need a horse can swim fine as a duck be much more used to us. What? Last horse we bucked, got his foot stuck in the mud, gator came and ripped his leg off. Ooh. The horse just wobbling in the water, another gator came and took the other leg. Then the horse fell and died for a part time and was come out with a right Okay, let's slow down. That's an interesting story. No word of lie. Good. Easy. You sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. And where was it? Le Grat? Well, that's how life is. Uh, hmm. okay. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roots that's down. That. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Go. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to settle. You think when was the last time you spent the week in the same bed? How long ago was that? I asked you. Bet it was a long time. No offense. But I bet it's been a long time for you. We getting close, don't die or not. I had my gun out because I'm like, okay, the last three times somebody's like, my horse ran away or something like that, they, you know, pulled me off my horse and tried to steal it before I shot them in the head. Okay. I was like, well. Okay, here's good. I'm not sure if she. Please let me give you this on account of you being so kind. I mean, you could spend it on a horse that doesn't get that foot stuck in the mud. Silver emerald ring, damn. I hope I'd never have to be on that horse again, dang animals. Okay. But, um, yeah. You all right? When it comes to, um... Yeah. There you go. Yeah. This game was like, well, chances are she would try to pull me off my horse, but I'm not sure if women can do that in this game. Or she'll lead me to a group of guys that will pull out a gun, which I think I remember something. Is right. something going on here? There Is that a go. duck? Yeah. And then um, some guys will pull out guns, and then I'll have to red dead them. But I guess not. Mean. Honestly, I've been dreading playing this game a bit because, you know, crashes and black screen flashes and all sorts of hickledy pickledy and tomfoolery and skullduggery.
Either a snake or a gator. Gator, I hardly even know her. Do her? Also, we should try and keep an eye out for that, um... Guy. Serial killer guy. Just like, what, a wooden bridge over... And then some trees, but a short wooden bridge. Good thing there aren't plenty of wooden bridges in the old wished. Who are you? I'm a guy. I'm good. Good to know. So actually, let's see. Is that the uh, nope? Jack game map. Rage. Uh, da, 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 da. Is that the one? Treasure maps. Maps. That should be the one. Okay. Oh god, look at the graphics on this. I knew I lowered the graphics a bit, but come on, game. So, across a wooden bridge, into some trees, old burned down house safe. Can you find me? Is there a way to increase the texture so it doesn't look like it's from, like, Nintendo 64 days without it chugging up the rest of the game? I mean, God. What's your think? Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Also, I've been spoiled a little bit. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. You know, Don't looking at Twitter and stuff. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, how do we not make enemies so we don't have the uh, last Gentlemen, two things happen again? Up. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions. But knowing how this game more or less goes, um, yeah. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Who is that guy? I've never seen him in my life. This way, please, gentlemen. A senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That come down this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has a uh, thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Uh, okay. Can I have one of them hats? The old top hats. Ah, the angry cow 
Ciao, boys, you've arrived. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. I think he's the guy that had the kid. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> kind of looks colonial. Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. A, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, young so you know par for the course for modern day. Yes, but their young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them. Because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve. Huh? <laughs> okay, so that guy that's telling us stuff is the bad guy. Oh, well, hopefully we kill him then. That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> um, sheep? Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money. How? Yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> it's always funny when I play games like okay, these. Ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> and it's like, um, it's like, we need cash, and it's like, me personally, I have more cash than I know what to do with. I already, sp I have a very nice horse, um, and have bought whatever clothes I want. There really isn't anything I really can spend money on in this game. At which point, it's like, okay, um, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. I don't know, gentlemen. Let's go ingratiate ourselves. Enjoy your night, sir. Mm hmm. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to rest. So he's the guy with the mutton chops. And then there's a Confederate hero who has the uh, same marrying age as Republicans. Unless we're talking about a, what's it called? What was it? Tennessee? Apparently it's, you know, bronze age and it's age thing. Recent news stuff about, was it? Oh, this is the guy. I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, Lemieux. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. 
I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. I am not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah, what say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. It's kind of funny, like, well, okay. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. Rider? We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Who's he talking about? Me or? My lord, fantastic. Fireworks. Excuse me, father. Uh, Monsieur, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. I completely spaced on the Cornwall thingy. Will Assassin's Creed it? I gain a lot of honor by just saying hi. Just so. Darling! How do you do, ma'am? Bonjour, monsieur. This crouches controller what? No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hogs. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Okay. So how do I crouch? Okay. I can be inside the house, right? Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. What's wrong with being in a house? It's a party. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jip and beat him! I will not have standard slip in this house! Dude. Maybe he's mean that guy. Your mind. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Uh -oh. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight! <sighs> the Cornwalls, I think, were one of the family that we uh, massacred, right? Must press the punch button. Okay, but where'd the guy go? Good. 
I wonder if I can improve the textures so they aren't basically my eyesight without glasses at several feet of range. Can I go out this door? How do you do? I am. You know, I have enough money that we could start a legitimate business and then some, so... I guess these guys are like the bush casting Sundance Kid where they just have to constantly be robbing or something. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Oh, great. I ain't gonna do me shit if I have to actually play poker. Because let's be honest. Poker night at the inventory? I like that. You could skip any of the dialogue or anything. You could play rounds like that. never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk These also games, it's like with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> so what's it the boot? Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I'd like to help I the natives. There's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I can smell home. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. God, I would hate to live here. Because, as you can see, hot, humid area. So, you know, Houston. Oh. Huh. Save a life. Interesting. Well, yeah, as per usual, that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. So I would like to thank you all for watching. Please comment because I like them comments. Where's the thing that would tell us our stats? Okay, pretty decent. Surprise sleep isn't at the max because, you know, we slept. Good morning, Arthur. Bounding. Hey, hey. Where's the stuff where we do the things? Is it that? Donate to camp. But that's upstairs. You can do that later, I guess. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, tricks, otherwise. 
If you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and share the rest of the ground. And we'll subtitle the pit population. And until next time, let's play me, game move six of um, Red Dead Redemption 2. See ya.